out of any video I've ever seen or ever made anything about on this channel. That is the most betrayed I have ever felt in my entire life. What's up weirdos? My name's Cooper and I am Kenoth. You know who else is? That's a terrible- I just wanted to show the shirt because I'm happy about it. But can these six singles bring some stuff and then kiss each other? I don't know if that's a intro or a segue, but I love you so much and I want you to watch this video so bad. Please watch the rest of this video, please. It's gonna be a funny video. We're gonna share a lot of laughs together. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy our time. If you're eating a little bit of food, take a bite for me right now. I'm gonna imagine what it tastes like. Mmm. Ew! Peas! You're eating peas! I don't know what's going on. You want to watch this video? So this is on this channel that I just found out about called Nectar, where they have just some of the most, I don't want to say dystopian. It's not dystopian, but it feels like television programming that would happen in the Hunger Games universe. Like this would happen in the capital. They would get six people together. Well, I guess in the Hunger Games, they'd have six people get together and kill each other. But in this one, they get six singles together, give them a little bit of a drink with a little bit of uh, uh in it, and then they uh, make them get weird. So let's plop on down here and, and, and see what's going to happen. Welcome to Dating Under the Influence, the show where we test what influences our dating choices the most. What influences our dating choices? You mean alcohol. Welcome to Dating Under the Influence, but you know, under the influence is a little bit of a joke because really we're talking about- No, you're act- you're- you're being dead ass. Dead ass, you're putting alcohol in them cups and then getting them- getting them- getting them tipsy. But the title of this video doesn't say tipsy, does it? At the start of each round, the group takes a shot together. And after each round's activity, we'll do an attraction checkpoint. Okay, so that's like the, the, the premise of the game. They got three Three different rounds, they take shots, they've got drinks, so they're gonna be blasted at some point in the video. Look at him absolutely devouring that treat. Absolutely enjoying that treat. I love him so much and he's my handsome boy. And they're gonna kiss each other is the thing. They're gonna kiss each other and it's gonna be so weird. I feel so weird seeing people kiss each other. And this one, because there's six in a group, let's watch it, but God, I'm gonna be cringing. You guys ready? Yeah. 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 Okay, but first, I think it's um shot o'clock. You think they might have wanted to put a little microphone on her so that we can hear her and not- Okay, so I'm gonna give everybody a shot. Huh? What? What'd she say? Huh? Disclaimer. Participants had the option to take diluted shots. Chasers and water were provided throughout rounds. Participants Uber at home. It's not weird. We're doing this ethically. We're getting six people drunk and trying to get them to make out ethically. It's fine. It's what it is. Listen, I grew up in the era of MTV dating shows. This is fine. Is it fine? Compared to that, yeah, this is like, I don't know. F none shit. That didn't sound like me. Well, it's f none shit. Who am I? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? Uh, all over California. But I just lived in Chicago for five years. Why'd you go right to the white woman? Think about the optics. Think about what you're saying about yourself right now. How dare you? She's a beautiful young woman, yes. She's a nice young woman, yes. Just saying, you're making us look bad when there's only two white people and they immediately match up first. I'm just saying, you make us look bad. How long have you lived in LA? Um, so I'm just visiting. Oh wow. Yeah, I live in Austin. Ew, ew, I live in Houston, so ew. Yeah, yeah I'm actually just visiting. I'm uh, I'm from Austin. Okay, then why are you here if you're not here to form a genuine love connection? Why are you here? Oh yeah, I'm actually just in town for the weekend trying to score some sick babes. Shut up. You treat her with respect, you kiss her on the cheek and the forehead, and you make her feel cared for because you better genuinely care for her. Because at the beginning of this video, they cheers to love. And if you are gonna lie to this woman, you are not enough. I live in Austin. Oh, yeah. I feel like I know a lot of people that live in Austin. Do you? You should come visit. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy, and I don't like his energy, and I don't like his vibe, but maybe he's just awkward. Maybe he's uncomfortable on camera. Maybe he's just being weird. But you've talked to her for 30 seconds, and you just invited her back to your place. That's inappropriate. What do you do? Uh, I'm an actor as well. Kind of no, I, I just got into acting. This is the most LA interaction I've ever seen. I don't know if it's the most LA interaction. There's no heroin. Well, let's not go there. But, so yeah, I'm from LA. What do you do? Um, you know, I'm, I'm an actor. Oh, sick, I'm a dancer and I'm trying to act too. And as they should, they should be chasing their dreams. They should be feeling fulfilled in their life because you only live once. YOLO! Man, I love to YOLO all over the place and be swagged out. It's nice, but where's the juice? Do I have to skip past all this? Oh, this is what I'm initially attracted to. Get to the juice! And now these two people paired up with each other and they had the option to be like, I'm attracted to you and then the other person could have been like, oh, but I'm attracted to them. Let me talk to them. But they both were like, no, each other. So these last two people, if they just match up with each other and that's it, this is boring. But first, real quick, can I tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Aura? I genuinely think that this is such an amazing service. I love it so much. I have been receiving spam phone calls in the past years like nobody's business, like everyday six, seven phone calls that are just, hello, you, would you like to blow? And I'm like, no, I don't want to. So Aura as a service is so helpful with finding these places and submitting that info cleaning your information from these places that are just harassing you all the time. They're so great and I'm so glad that I found out about them because ever since like I signed up, it's been so much better. You can use it to install things like parental controls, you have antivirus, VPNs are so helpful, so great for so many different reasons, and it has like password management, there's insurance for identity theft, and more. And look at this, look at that, it, $12. And for that, you get 
all of this stuff. It really, really is worth it, I'm serious. But if you care about things like safety and protection and a lack of being harassed, then go to this link, aura.com forward slash film cooper. Here's a QR code. You can just you can just take, take a screenshot of that. Also, I clicked in the description. You can get a 14 day free trial. You'll be able to, with the free trial, see if your information has been compromised. It's very affordable and so helpful and so worth it. So thank you, Aura, to sponsoring this video. Back to what I was talking about. Hi. Hi. Um, where are you from? I'm from San Diego. Oh, me too. How I, old are you? 24. 24. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. What was that interaction about? From San Diego. Hey, me too. Hey, shout out Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. How old are you? I mean, she's drinking on a show where you have to sign contracts, so why- No, how old are you? How old are you? Tell me how old you are. I want to know how many years you've been on this earth and how much darkness you've seen. I want to know if you've seen the light or if I can be the one to show you the darkness. I'm 24. Oh. <laughs> Sick as hell! What a weird question and weird response to the, to the answer. That's me as a commentary channel. Hey, that was odd, huh? Anybody else see that? That was weird. Okay, so they all paired up. These people are boring. When are they gonna get drunk and just absolutely get juicy and drama? Drama tap. When is the drama gonna come out? When's it gonna get dramatic? One of those. One of those is what I'm trying to say. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I don't know how to talk. I'm so sleep deprived right now, so I feel a little bit tipsy because I'm so tired and I've got so much caffeine running through my veins right now. I just wanna say, women are really pretty. <laughs> Let's keep watching. First attraction checkpoint, point to who you're most feeling right now. We'll start with you, Sasha. Okay, who ca who ca okay, who cares? We have to get to the juice in a second. I'm about to seriously fast forward and the next thing that we're reacting to is gonna be juicy as hell because this is stupid. So who are you attracted to? They've only talked to one other person. They've only talked to each other. There's no drama here. There's no juice. I want my f juice. I want my juice dripping down my chin like plums. I want to take a bite out of a ripe plum and have that plum juice dripping down my chin. In the metaphor, plum is drama. <laughs> I was really into Sasha and Gabby. Nope, that's not what I expected. I feel that plum dripping down my chin. This is good, this is good. So are they gonna kiss each other? Oh my god, I wonder who, who who's gonna kiss who? Cause he pointed at her, but she did not point at him. Uh oh! Shh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Matt. You're a Cracker dude. Can I say that? You're well, yeah, I can. I'm white. You're a cracker, Matt. I kind of like him. I would hang out with Matt. Cause he's just kind of like he's just jolly. Look at it, look at him smiling over there. Who am I trying to? Uh him. Just kidding, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. It's, it's her, obviously. She's hot. <laughs> That's a man. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I swear to god. I was just stupid as a joke. And I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of funny. I thought it was silly. I like it. I like it. So everybody is attracted to Sasha. I'm gonna be honest. She's cute and I like her top. As, 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 as. Not as cute though as that man on the far right with his glasses on the back of his head like that. Can we zoom in on that? Can we zoom in on that? Look at that. What is bro doing? What is bro thinking? Where is bro from? What is bro contemplating? What's bro planning? Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Who, who is he? Who is he? Okay. And on. Are you guys ready for another shot? In college, I was always called one shot Sarah because it'd be one shot. And where is Sarah? She's gone! That's funny, I like Sarah. Sarah is just like me. But Sarah is now two shots deep? Because one before and then one at the end of each round? So she's blasted. And now, she's gonna be on camera flirting with people and maybe kissing them. But they put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video. So that means there's nothing weird to feel about this. It's fine, it's juicy. Nectar has HR, I assume. Okay, but round two is personality compatibility. Just like typical beer pong, the group will take turns trying to make a shot. Once the shot is made, they get to ask their current crush a question from the Truth or Dare deck. <gasps> oh my god, that's so much fun, oh my god. I've played beer pong once in my entire life. Actually, like three weeks ago with my friend Diego and my friend Keenan and my friend Brett and my friend, I don't need to describe all my friends. Basically, I suck. I went to university, I graduated university. I have a, I have a degree from a university. And you know what I never did? I never took my white ass to a frat house and threw a, little, threw a little ping pong ball in a beer cup. Cause I got my thrills the old fashioned way. I sat in my dorm alone and put on my headphones so my roommate would not talk to me because I felt socially awkward. <laughs> you. Sorry, uh, sorry, there we go. You wanna dance? <laughs> I don't wanna watch this whole thing though. You don't wanna watch every single step of the way. So let's let's look at the, the, the good parts. So what'd you have for breakfast? <laughs> uh, McDonald's. Ooh, yeah. McGriddle or McMuffin? Yeah. Look at Matt right now. Look at him just going, hmm. So I pointed at her, and I was talking to her earlier, and you just want to dance with her? Oh. Oh. That's me. Matt's me right now. Matt is Matt. Matt is me going. Why did I sign up for this? Why did I? Why did I see a woman immediately fall in love with her, and now she's dancing with somebody else? That's what the game is. Why did I sign up for this? Matt is a self-insert character in like a fan fiction, and 
what, what is that? What, did that make sense? Jordan has a very cute face, but he is a little shorter than I am, so it's kind of something I have to get over. Whereas Matt is very much quintessential my type. Let's go, Matt. Let's go, Cracker. Jordan is a, a little bit of a short king, and we love it. Oh, yeah, looking at him right now, there's no way she can wear heels and feel like a dainty princess next to him. Which is fine. You don't have to feel like a dainty princess. But if you have the option, who wouldn't want to feel like daddy's princess? What the fuck? Talking about, I don't want to feel like Daddy's little princess. I don't. But I, I am, I am six foot two. Okay. So keep that in mind. I just got high ceilings. I got a big old, I got a high ceiling and a tall legs. Long legs, tall legs. How frequently would you want to have sex in a relationship? As much as my partner is interested. That's my kind of man right there. That is a man after my own heart. That's me. Oh, you asked the question where you get to learn a little bit more about me and like my wants and my needs. My wants and my needs are whatever you want, and whatever you need. <laughs> no, genuinely, what are your wants and what are your needs? Like in a vacuum, what would be your ideal, you know, in, in a week? For me, ideally in a week, I'd like to, you know, just however much she wants. <laughs> I love it. That's totally what I would say. It was like a, not a mutual, but like the same kind of connection with both Jordan and Matt. But I think I honestly related to Matt more than Jordan. It's tough out there for a short king. It's tough out there. And I wouldn't know, but I really do have a lot of empathy for y'all. Hey, peace and love to any short kings out there. I genuinely am sorry. I just can't be one of y'all. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. See, me, me personally, I'm tall and sad, and you can see like uh, my zipper because of the way these pants fit. So we all have our struggles. Our struggles, voice cracking idiot. Okay, let's keep going. What's the most embarrassing thing that you've, or that's ever happened to you in bed? Oh, he's drunk. What's the most, what, that's, you've ever had it when you're in bed? So, what? Hey, by the way, On, that's his name, A-N-A-N-H, I think, On. Nice, very, very smooth, very cool. Yeah, so if you're, ever, uh, when you're in bed, if, uh, so is it you ever get embarrassed? He's had two shots and he's gone. He's blacked out. Him and, uh, what's, what's her name? What's her name? Sarah? I feel like they're gonna fall in love because they're both lightweights and that's the one thing that they have in common and the one thing I know about them. Other than he's got his aviators on the back of his head. Like a jackass. That's fine. That's fine. You can be a jackass. Actually, in honor of him and sorry because I said that, my Barbie glasses. By the way, I'm aware that it could sound annoying and it could eventually feel pick me for me to like have really liked Barbie, but I got a tattoo of it. I l genuinely loved it so much. It's not fake. I wouldn't get a tattoo for like a meme. That is insanity. But what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to on in bed? Farting or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot harder. <laughs> no worries, me too. <laughs> that was cute. Seems like they're flirting with each other. There's no juice yet. There's barely any juice. God, uh, the plums are just, just staying in my mouth. No juice is dripping yet. God. They're being sweet and kind and nice. And Jordan, if he was three inches taller, would be living his best life. It sucks. Get some lifts. Genuinely get some lifts and just watch your life take off, I guess. For a second attraction checkpoint. <gasps> they're gonna kiss- they're, oh my god, oh my god, the two on the far right, they're gonna kiss each other and fall in love. But then there's drama in those first four. When I talk about the fantastic four of drama, that's what I'm talking about! Okay, Jordan likes- what's her name? Sasha? Jordan likes Sasha. Sasha likes Jordan. Gabby likes- I forgot already. <laughs> I'm stupid, sorry. Okay, wait, no, so they just like each other. They like each other and that's- and that's that. That's the game. Oh, but that's what- okay, so- so but then- oh, nobody likes Gabby. Nobody likes Gabby and nobody likes Matt. Damn. They're talking about how he was tall and handsome and sexy and I was like, Yeah, I'm also tall and man, you know, it's- I'm like that. And he got rejected. And still, Rejected. Truly a man after my own heart. It's me, Sienna, the director of this episode. Take a shot if you like this new series, Standing Under the Influence, and subscribe for more. Cheers! Why do I care? That's just- she just, I'm sorry, I just had to include that in this video. Why do I care? I'm the director of this video, so if you like it, take a shot. Cheers. Subscribe. I don't even know who you are, Sienna. Get Matt to tell me to subscribe. I'll subscribe if Matt tells me. Or on. Or Sasha. If so Sorry, Sarah. It's Sasha, Jordan, Gabby, Matt, Sarah, or on, and I'll and I'll subscribe. Do you see how good I am at commentary? I know all of their names, I know their backstories, I know their lives, I know their connections, and I am taking you on the ride, and we're gonna learn so much about them and ourselves and the connection that we have with each other, and as a human race, and society as a whole. <laughs> no, we're not. Here's where we're going. Oh my god, this is what I wanted so badly. The chemistry test, aka spin the bottle, people are gonna be kissing, and it's okay because they're all okay with it, and they're consenting adults. And we don't need to be puritanical as if like, oh, 
People kiss? Oh, but that's, but that's. This situation where everybody wants to be there. Everybody agreed to be there. Everybody knows what's happening. Everybody's going into it with open arms. And at any point, they can back out. So I'm just saying, you don't have to feel weird while they play spin the bottle. Because I know that we are very, like, empathetic people. We, you, we don't have to. Two consenting adults kissing? Um... Yeah, I think that's a crime. That's my impression of some people on YouTube, but I, I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna say any names. <laughs> oh. 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 Three, two, one. <gasps> oh. oh! Wait, what the hell? I thought that she liked on. I thought that she liked on and I thought that he liked S S Sasha. Why would they kiss each other? So the rule is you spin the bottle and either you can kiss the person. Or take a shot. Sasha and An both spun the bottle and they got each other and then they took the shot and didn't kiss. But Jordan and Sarah just kissed each other? But they don't even like each other. They liked other people. See, this is- this- oh, Golly, this just- I just get my feelings hurt. You feel- oh, Anyways, let's keep going. I just hope that they're the only people that kiss that don't like each other. I hope everybody who kisses from now on likes each other and they- and they, this sucks. Oh, it's oh. Oh. Three, two, one. No, 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 they don't even, why would they? By the way, the shot of him like this, with her hand, like that. I don't know what's going on there, but take your sunglasses off. Why are they on the back of his head during this video? It's so weird. The wind has been completely taken out of my sails because these people are kissing each other and they don't even have crushes. I'm not even joking, is the thing. <laughs> Actually, if I was in this, if I signed up to be in this, I had a crush on somebody, I said that they, I had a crush on them, they said they had a crush on me, somebody spins the bottle and then the two of them kiss in front of me, I'm throwing up. <laughs> I'm, I'm like so serious. That would ruin maybe three months out of my year. For the next three months, I would feel devastated. I would feel destroyed. I would feel like I got hit by a semi truck. And her, Sarah, they're just going, ah, oh my god, you love it. Me? I'm throwing up. She's a stronger woman than me, that's for sure. What's up, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> a little flashback to earlier when Matt said that he wanted to bang on. Also, Matt took a second before An said anything. I think that he would have kissed them. That's just me saying that. That's just me being goofy. That's just me making a little callback. However, I think if he truly committed to the bit, if he truly wanted to be funny, if he truly was straight, then he would have kissed on. If you're straight, you'd kiss him. Kind of. So I don't know. I don't know. If you're straight, I think you're kissing. That's just my pitch. Oh my God. Who's he gonna, who's he gonna get? Is he gonna kiss anybody? I don't know what I want for him because he likes Sasha, but Sasha likes Jordan. But so who's he gonna kiss? Cause Gabby's the one who likes him. But then Gabby was just making out with on. I tried to spin it at one point so that it would land on Sasha and I wasn't able to make it happen. Three, two, one. God, that's crazy. He really is me. And he's from Austin. Matt, if you want to hang out, that'd be great. We're not gonna kiss. That's for you and on to sort out. That's for you too. But I can see a little bit of like a death in his soul. I can see a little part of him that is just like crumbling inside because of this situation right now. Like me in this situation, I'm feeling dread. I'm feeling panic. I'm having an anxiety attack and I'm walking home never to return to the studio. Like I, I'd still be, you know, I'd be fine, but. <laughs> Did you, s huh? Are we, are we, are we? Are we? Hey, hey, gay women, let's go crazy in the comments, gay women. We love gay women on Film Cooper channel. My channel right here, this is a channel where we love and we support gay women and we don't want anything from them, okay? We love them, we get along with them, we have a similar understanding of the world, our perspective is in line. Gay women thinks women are pretty. Me thinks women are pretty. We, we get along. You go crazy in the comments because she was down to kiss Sarah. That Sasha Sarah romance was about to happen and I already know that there's fan fictions being written right now. But I'm glad that they didn't. They don't need to give that to us. I already know if they kissed that they would have like the, the watch time spike where everybody like rewinds that part. We don't need that. Okay, they're laughing because it keeps, you know, pointing towards on, but Matt right there going, I was hoping, I was hoping you had the chance. It landed on him and you didn't kiss him. Don't lie. Don't lie, Matt. If you wanted to kiss him, you could have done it. And now these people who like each other are going to kiss, but they both just watched each other kiss somebody else. Does that mean that they have to kiss each other with even more passion and fire and romance than the others to let them know that their connection with each other is the most genuine and passionate and true? Are they gonna kiss each other with love and passion and a, and a, and a genuine connection that shows each other how much they care about each other? <laughs> Not my white ass. Something about court of throne and roses. Court of a throne, court of thorns and roses. Court of roses and thorns. Whatever that fantasy fairy book is. In fantasy fairy, in fantasy fairy, in fantasy fairy. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm stalling, let's watch. 
this is juicy. I'm so glad y'all stuck along with me in this video. And I asked you genuinely to watch the rest of this video. And if you took that to heart and were like, oh, I was gonna, you know, not finish, but I love you so much. Please keep watching with me, genuinely. Please keep watching with me. I want you to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep posting videos to hopefully make you happy and make you laugh. And we'll have a good time and entertaining time. I want you to feel good. And if you don't subscribe to this, Basically, what's gonna happen is you are going to- I don't even want to say, say anything bad about it. Yeah, I, uh, do whatever you want! Do whatever the f*** you I just don't want to click that! I just don't want to click it and watch them kiss, because I'm- <sighs> Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah! Get into it! Oh. I hope my mom isn't watching. <laughs> Should we leave? <laughs> oh my god! The kiss was so passionate they had to break for a reaction shot in the middle. Let's go on and Sarah. So they like each other, so they're in love with each other. And they kissed at the passion of a thousand waves. They were like waves crashing into each other that was powered by the moon, which is the romance moon. Because it's, it's not a planet, so I don't know why it's necessarily this astrological thing. If you care about astrology, can you tell me why the f moon has just as much influence as planets? And why don't those planets' moons have influence? Let me know. I'm serious. I'm sure there's an answer and I want you to know. I want you to let me know what the f*** is going on, okay? I read all the comments. I read all the comments and just because I don't respond to every single comment doesn't mean I didn't see it and doesn't mean I didn't appreciate it. Sorry, I keep telling you that I appreciate you during this video. That's cringe. You're lame. Who cares? <laughs> Three, two... Are you serious? Are we witnessing true love? Are we witnessing a romance that's un un unfolding in front of us like a, like, a, like a movie? Is this a Nicholas Sparks novel? This is so cute. Get... Those sunglasses off the back of your head. We know you have Ray-Bans. That's what it is. It's Ray-Bans and he wants people to know that he was rich enough to spend $150 on sunglasses. Okay, dude. Okay, big spender. Okay, pal. It's like going into one of these videos wearing AirPods because it's like, I can afford AirPods. Okay, grow up. <laughs> this is intense. So I was like right there. I don't think I've ever seen two people go at it like that, that close. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh okay, oh my, I get it, we get it, we, jeez louise, this is so juicy, I got the plum just dripping down my chin. I know that it's a reference to Will Ferrell, I'm not trying to pass it off like it's my own, it's a reference to the, the bloopers, the Will Ferrell blooper, come on. That was insane, they were like grabbing each other and like, that's how I kiss, if I had somebody to kiss. Just kidding, my self-worth is not defined by who I'm around. No 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 my Sarah right now watching this video Sarah I love you so much Sarah Sarah I am so sorry that for what on just put you through on is an absolute villain and ab wait what's the way that cool kids do it there's like a on is an absolute villain you deserve so much better than that and the fact that you were kissing each other like that it lets me know that you thought that the the, the feeling was mutual and that it's like destiny like I was I'm so locked in with you about like the, it, it, those bottles should have been a sign and everything should have been a sign and then for him to do that to kiss you like that and then appointed another woman, the woman that he kissed first, with half the passion, half the desire, half the fury. On, how about you? Get out! I'm so serious. I'm furious right now. Genuinely, I feel betrayed. This is more than any video I've ever watched. I feel more betrayed. I feel more hurt. I feel more utterly destroyed than in any other video out of any video I've ever seen or ever made anything about on this channel. That is the most betrayed I have ever felt in my entire life. And the drama, the juice dripping from this plum. Oh my god. Gosh, this is the single's final opportunity to reveal their feelings for one another and see if they're reciprocated. I guess we'll go at the pace of the video, but what the hell is gonna happen with On? What is he gonna, what's like Sarah and On? Was that's like Ross and Rachel. It's like a Jerry Seinfeld and any woman that he then hates. I love the show Seinfeld so much. I'm a Seinfeld head more than a friend's head. Just keep that in mind, keep that locked away. Cause the thing about Seinfeld, okay, can I just take a second? The characters are funny. It's not like they write situations and the characters are really funny to us. The characters are funny to each other. Jerry is a comedian in the show and Kramer makes Jerry laugh. Elaine makes the guys laugh just as much as the guys make Elaine laugh. And it's not only funny to each other, it's funny to us, and they're also situationally funny. And that's why I like it, because of Larry David's influence. Larry David is, in my opinion, 
for my tastes, the funniest living comedy writer. For my tastes. So let's go, uh, watch drunk singles break each other's hearts? I, I don't know, why, why did I talk about Seinfeld for that? Who's drunk? So everybody's drunk and then on sober and soberly is breaking Sarah's heart. Okay, cool. God, what an absolute, just, oh my God. I don't, don't want to be too mean. I don't want to be too mean, but. I'm feeling way too lit. I think I'm a little bit the most lit out of everyone, but I'm enjoying myself and having way too much fun. She's a bright, radiant ray of sunshine who's just beaming with just happiness and joy and good positive energy. And the fact that An doesn't see that, he's blind slash stupid slash mean. Just a guy, just a guy. It's fine, I don't need to get mean. He is not Kenuff though. He would never be Kenuff. He's second act Ken. He's Ken doing the patriarchy. Ken before he found out that the patriarchy wasn't just about horses. By the way, God, I love Barbie. I want to talk about that, but I, we, let's keep going. Matt, get up here. Okay. Beginning, I felt mutual vibe. I would love to get to know you better even though you live, with, live in Austin. Oh my gosh, Sasha seriously is drunk. I would love to you, you know you better. You live in Austin. Thank God, and they didn't even kiss each other. My God, is this true love? They're the two people who didn't kiss anybody. <gasps> kind of my dream, not kissing and then falling in love. <laughs> I would love to kiss, but I just don't want to go around kissing willy-nilly. And I don't go around kissing willy-nilly. Oh my God, and then look at that, Matt, every single time picked Sasha because he, he loves her. He loves her so much. That really is sweet. And her brief in the middle betrayal where she picked Jordan, we can let that slide. We'll keep it pushing. We'll keep it pushing. Most of the game, I was into Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the game, I was into Sasha, meaning I picked her every single time. But then I just watched her say that she wants to be with somebody else. So if I'm Jordan, I'm crying, I'm throwing up, I'm going home, I'm looking at the corner for five hours, and I'm taking deep breaths, and I'm soothing myself by music. The song, I'm always number two. I expected this video to be a lighthearted, like, happy one. This is one of the most gut-wrenching and dramatic and painful things I've ever seen. I love making videos about these, like, dating channel videos. They're so much fun to me. I really hope you like them too, because I like you. <laughs> and I don't ever, ever want to be a channel that just makes videos about drama, because I think that's toxic, and I think that that's bad, bad energy, bad happiness. I just want videos to be, like, fun and happy, and, like, this is so dramatic and so interesting, and I love it. And it's also not about tearing specific people down about dark, sad things that they've done. Like, I will do those. I will always do those. And I will always make videos about like crazy things and like things that are like, I'm not gonna stop making videos about Colleen or like a Lizzo situation, but I love making videos about this and like reality shows and weird things that I find online. And I just, let me know. Actually, don't let me know if you wanna keep doing it because I'm gonna do it anyways. I don't need validation. I don't need it. But let me know if you like these videos. I guess I can tell by how many people watch it. So I can, so, so, so. <laughs> Yeah. That, that's sad. That's also what I would do in that situation, because on my mother, I'm not picking somebody who just picked somebody else in front of me. If that happens to me, all feelings lost, everything just cut off, heart to them, cold. Because it's fine. You can do whatever you want. It's fine. You can do, I'll still be nice to you. It's fine. But there's no world where somebody says, oh yeah, I have a crush on this person. And then I say, oh, I have a crush on you. That is so sad, so heartbreaking. I just would lie. Like he's doing right now. Hearing that makes me want to like punch him in the face. Because I'm like, no, you, you got, you have Gabby. Like she's a fucking cat. Why does he have to have Gabby though? Why? Because they are standing next to each other? Is that why he has to fall in love with Gabby? He watched Gabby make out with On. There's no world where I can't have a crush on somebody and they're making out with somebody in front of me. And I'm not going home like crying, throwing up. Like I'm going to be distraught. And that's fine. You can be, uh, what's it called? Fragile? What's it called? A wiener? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little too drunk for this. <laughs> I'm drunk too. Okay, so here we go. What do you think is gonna happen? I'm gonna make my prediction right now. I think that he is gonna fold under the pressure and say that he likes her too because she's gonna tell him first. So I think he's gonna be like, uh, I like you too. But once this video comes out, once she's seen this, all trust is broken. It's all gone. And he's a villain. He's a, he's a super villain, seriously. Everyone, like you definitely caught my eye. So, and I'm glad that we vibe and we have a lot in it's common. common. Yeah, like it's do. too much. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Would you like to go on a date? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm excited. So would you like want to date me? And then he says, yeah, I'm down. So why did you just point at another woman? Why did you just point at Gabby and say that you wanted to fall in love and have kids with her and marry her and be with her forever and share like sweet elderly conversations with each other on your rocking chairs in your front porch. Why'd you say all that then if you were just gonna say, yeah, I'll be down to date you? She's gonna watch this video and be like, oh my God, look at how on and I met, it's so cute, oh my God. As she should, girls should be allowed to be happy. And then she sees that, 
That's a betrayal the likes of which I've never, ever, ever seen. Not since Brad and J J J Brad and Jana Jelena. Brad J Brangelina. What's her what's her name? Jennifer Aniston. Who am I? What am I talking? <laughs> okay, so that's how it ends. That's the situation. Sasha and Matt fall in love, they're gonna get married. Jordan and Gabby because they couldn't be with somebody that they actually love, are going to fall in love with each other because they have to get married and have kids. And then An and Sarah, I guess, are also going to fall in love and get married, even though he is a Avengers level villain. He's like Thanos, if instead of like eliminating half of the universe, he eliminated a woman's joy, right? Is that true? Yeah. So I guess my takeaway from this video is, yes, I know more about society and relationships and love and the meaning of the universe, but I also know that if you see a man wearing Ray-Bans on the back of his head, he is the absolute garbage boy. And we do not fall in love with garbage boys. We fall in love with damn garbage men. And gay women. There's no point. I just want to just want to continue the applause because shout out. I love y'all weirdos very much. Please subscribe. Everybody's been like subscribing recently. I've, I've got so many subscribers and like <laughs> I don't I don't want I don't want I don't want to say anything, but I have been growing a lot and it's kind of exciting to see, you know, other channels that I'm on the level of now or passing in subscribers and they're like it's so exciting because I feel like I'm I'm out here not I don't feel like I'm in the culture of that. like I don't have like my, you know, friends that I make videos with. It's literally just me. I can't believe that like all of this has been built just by making these videos and I love you so much for allowing me to do that.